Hey, Spintronics fans, I've got my rifle again. Today I'm gonna teach you about ports. You might have heard people talking about ports as a starting position or as a catching position. It's really simple. All you're gonna do basically is you're gonna go from your right flat position and you're gonna take your rifle to a shoulder hip angle to make it into a port. So in a right port, my butt is high and my nose is at about the same position where it started. If I wanna do a left port, I'm just gonna switch my hands to a left flat and then pick it up into this shoulder hip angle on the other side. Now this is a little different from preps because preps, your underneath hand is gonna be low. So on my prep, I'm still doing the same shoulder hip angle, but my left hand is underneath and it's low. I can also do a prep on the right side and I'm going from my right flat here to my prep, which is my right hand being underneath, my right hand is low. I would normally turn my wrist properly with this, but I'm having a really hard time gripping with my broken finger. So make sure you're holding this, you're not wrapping your thumb, you're pressing it along the back, just like you do for a normal right flat position. You pull your left hand up with the nose for a nice dip position. You can also do forward ports, and it's a lot like the front angle on your flag. Um, and then this one is a lot like the front slam on your flag whenever you're doing that. I know this was kind of short, but I've got to keep it simple right now until either my finger gets better or I can start getting more videos from my instructors. So please, 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 if you have some simple things that I can do with a broken finger over the next couple of weeks, let me know. I will get you some videos done. I do have a really long list of stuff to get through, so I will be working through that too as much as I can, and I have some other staff that are doing it too. So hopefully you'll be hearing from them. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. And make sure you share this with all your friends because Color Guard is way more fun when you do it on a team.